did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator. I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Panacone's rife with rumors now about the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? Hmm. What do you think? Like... Sorry, I couldn't hear you clearly. Did you repeat that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you clearly. Did you repeat that? What's going on? That weird feeling is back again. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm, I truly hope so. Well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. I'm trying to find my own room too, and I heard a commotion here. So I came to take a look. Luckily your door was open, or it could have gotten dangerous. That man looked like he was up to no good. Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Are there... no staff members here at all? Huh? What are you doing here? I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. <sighs> this room... Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. It worked. You really can walk up walls. This is no way. This way. After you. Am I supposed to? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not?
I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, 
there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. One was a stowaway, uh, the other was you. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In a dream, even if you're bashed a thousand times with a hammer, at worst you'll still wake up in reality in a hotel. There is no death inside Panacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. confused and sad. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, she simply vanished, like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. Checking in. Please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. 
If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. And the bee shark! The bee shark's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! What do you mean by all? Lucky really exists. That can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. Gonna have to pay the price. Punishing what? Punishing what? Punishing what? Punishing what? She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. <sighs> As the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. forced her to go that way. And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall male in silver armor. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. 
He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. has changed and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan Suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of her.
Take a moment. Bye.